<laughs> Most of us are pretty used to the idea of having a, a cat or a dog as a pet. Right, but tonight we're looking into a pup belly showdown. As of now, the pig has been booted out of town to WLWT News host Eric Zarnitz is in Falmouth for us tonight with how one owner is trying to fight City Hall. This is Sully, a Vietnamese pot bellied pig, and more recently, one of a few pigs rooting up conversation around Falmouth. When I see a pig, oh, I think it's bacon and ham and pork chops and <laughs> a meal. I think it's kind of awesome. She keeps it clean, the yard's clean. You know, she keeps it really nice out there. In the middle of August, Sully and another more infamous potbelly pig named Tootsie Roll gave police a run for their money, bit an officer, and even made the local newspaper. It's unfortunate. I hate to see anybody lose any type of animal that they truly love. However, I have to take an unbiased approach. According to city ordinances, potbellied pigs are considered livestock, and it's illegal to keep them in city limits. I feel like he's not a live, you know, livestock animal because he's an inside pet. He doesn't live on a farm. He couldn't live on a farm to me. I don't think he would, you know, stay alive on a farm. That's just not how he has been raised. For now, Sully resides with the Owens' parents outside the city limits. My mom loves them. <laughs> he loves them. My dad loves them. She calls him her grand pig instead of grand kid, grand pig. But Leslie is taking action to bring Sully home, and the first salvo is looking for your help online with a petition placed on change.org to tweak the city rules. And when we cook, he's always at our feet and he falls everywhere. <laughs> he knows his name, he knows no. He does tricks if we have treats, which to me, he's not livestock. He's a pet, just like a dog or a cat. If Leslie Owens gets enough signatures, she's planning on taking this to city council next week for a vote to change the ordinance. Reporting in Butler, Kentucky, Eric Zarnitz with Sally, WLWT News 5. Aww, <laughs> he's cute. And you don't need another animal at your house. I'm just telling you that right now. I they would won't take allow him. it. I would adopt him. I know you would. Temporarily. I could yeah. foster him. I bet you would. And my boys would love him. I don't know about the dogs yeah. or the cats. Anyway,